Imagine my face melting off in slow motion. Ladies and gentlemen, my Fram Perez Hilton here and just too much craziness to get to today. I will be talking about Kylie Jenner and Drake. We'll also be talking about Whitney Houston and her lady on lady relationship. We'll be chatting Niall Horan, Chris Brown, and so much more. But first, T.I. Let me assume some of you don't know who he is. He is a former chart-topping rapper turned reality TV star who also is a judge on a new Netflix show with Cardi B. He's been getting a lot of press this year. Good for him. I love a comeback. But the press that he just got pains me. It's about his daughter. I can't almost verbalize it because it's just so crazy. Let me just spit it out. T.I. takes his 18-year-old daughter to the gyno every year, right after her birthday. And he has for the last few years to get her hymen checked to make sure that she's still a virgin. She just turned 18 and he reveals that he just took her. Publicly, he said all of this in a podcast interview. I also need to remind you all, T.I. is one of those flat truthers. He believes the world is flat. No one has ever accused T.I. of being smart. <laughs> Listen. I'm just imagining myself and my, my daughter's I don't even know. Um, it, it would be very hypocritical of me to to make it such a big to do when I've spoken out, I lost my virginity at age 13. Do I want that for my daughters? No. Um, I am a very honest father and I talk to my kids about everything. In fact, today, my son this morning asked me about guys getting married to each other. And we had an honest conversation about that. And it surprised me that he said, oh, I think that's weird. And I asked my son, well, why do you think that's weird? What prompted you to say that? Did somebody tell you that's weird? That's not weird. So that was weird. <laughs> um, and also, what's the big deal? I mean... I don't know. It's also just a, a very disturbing double standard because his son, who's 15 years old, three years younger than his daughter, Deja, is sexually active. And T.I. doesn't have a problem with that. I still am trying to wrap my brain around it all. And that he broadcast this to the world. That poor girl. You know what it is? I'm just going to assume he told his daughter, you, you take this vow, um, you know, you keep yourself pure and I will pay you for this, pay you this, take care of that, you know, money, money, money. I'm guessing. Ay, ay, ay. Let's keep it moving from T.I. to more craziness. Yesterday in Los Angeles, Chris Brown held a yard sale and my podcast co-host suggested I go there and start talking smack about Chris Brown. And when Booker did that, he triggered something inside of me where I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was so pissed because a few things. I had a really busy day yesterday. I had to go to the dentist and I had a long phone call as well, a work-related call. 
And also Chris Brown lives far away in Tarzana. And all of that aside, I, I thought, well, maybe I could just cancel the dentist, still do the work call, maybe do the work call while I drive to Tarzana. But then I really calmed myself down and thought it through. And me going to that Chris Brown yard sale, it just did not seem like a good idea. It did not seem safe to me. Those people who went know what kind of a person Chris Brown is, and they still went anyways. There might have been some real aggressive fans there that would not have taken kindly to me saying Chris Brown is a woman beater or whatever it is I would have said. But that was a really good idea, Booker. Speaking of Booker, ladies and gentlemen, I did it. I won. I got Chris Booker, TikTok hater, to join TikTok and his first ever video features yours truly. If you want to, check it out and follow him. He's Chris Booker DJ, at Chris Booker DJ on TikTok. And I am at Perez Hilton on TikTok. All right, on to some more music news from Chris Brown to Niall Horan. Niall just announced a major headlining tour of the United States. So major that... I raised an eyebrow or two. I don't think I can raise one. I cannot raise one eyebrow. <laughs> I raised both eyebrows when I saw that this tour that Niall Horan, formerly of One Direction, is doing is an arena tour. Do we think Niall can sell out arenas? He's no Harry Styles. Then I saw that the tour featured very special guest, Louis Capaldi. I would go just for Louis Capaldi and I would stay for Niall. I like Niall too, but I'm obsessed with Louis Capaldi. Obsessed with him, obsessed with his album, excited about seeing him in concert. I think I need to go to this. But it's at the Forum in Los Angeles, and I hate that venue. Uh, all right, even more music news. Drake, according to People Magazine, has crossed over the friend zone into the romantic zone with Kylie Jenner, or as I am now calling them and have coined them, dryly. TMZ, on the other hand, is countering, saying they're just friends. Let me break it down for you. TMZ has been wrong way more than People Magazine ever has been wrong. I consider people to be far more reliable and reputable than TMZ. Period. Full stop. Exclamation mark. Semicolon. <laughs> Parentheses. I believe it. And, I, and we talk about this on my podcast this week. Listen to the Perez Hilton podcast with Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts or directly at PerezPodcast.com. We mention, I break it down for you, all of the hanging out they've been doing. The fact that Drake has Kylie around him when he could be around all these other people at these big parties that he throws. They are more than just friends. Maybe they're not full-on dating, but they're at least hitting it. And you know who is more than just friends with me? Tara Jenkins. She is a member of my Fram, a VIP member of my Fram. Thank you to Queen Tara Jenkins for super chatting me yesterday. And she gave me a sticker. I am loving those stickers. Kala Sawyer also super chatted me a sticker. They were so fun. Thank you. Also, thank you to Bright Miller for super chatting me. Andrea Stallone, Laura Robinson, Kevin Murphy, Eliska Gray, and Anna Mar. You guys, Anna Mar, Eliska Gray, Kevin Murphy, Laura Robinson, Andrea Stallone, Bright Miller. Kala Sawyer and Tara Jenkins. Oh, there's so much energy here and it's hot. Thank you. If you feel so inclined, hit that dollar icon underneath this 
chat if you're watching the live premiere. And if you're not, make sure you've got your notifications turned on so that you can live chat with me every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, in other news, Kardashian-Jenner related, Kim Kardashian reveals that Kanye got rid of the televisions in their children's room recently because ever since he's become more spiritual, he's also become more of a strict father. And that at first that surprised me, but then it also... I don't know. It did some, the fact that the kids even had TV. I just assumed that, like me, parents in this day and age don't let their kids have TVs in their bedrooms. When I was growing up in the '80s, I had a TV in my bedroom always, and I wish I didn't in hindsight because that's all I would do. I would just watch TV for hours upon hours upon hours a day. The TV was my best friend, babysitter, boyfriend, therapist, my escape. But also the TV was a way for me to not be present. I really wasn't an active participant in my life when I was younger. But anyways, that was surprising to me that the kids of Kanye had TVs in their room, especially because they're all so young and they don't anymore. And I think that's a great thing for them if they think that's a good thing for them, for Kim and Kanye. That's what we do here. Oh my God. We're doing so much homework with my son. It's driving me crazy because it's not a quick process. Last night, it seemed real simple. It was, um, he had a, illustrate a how-to. So I'm like, okay, what do you want to tell your teachers what, what to make? He's like, oh, fruit pops. Okay, 40 minutes later, sitting there helping him. Oh, you don't spell it that way. Or what's the next step or blah. Ah, you do it, you do it, you do it, and, and you do it. It's, it's the parent life. All right, on to Whitney Houston. I mentioned her at the top of this video. Her former best friend turned lover, Robin Crawford, is finally releasing her long-awaited memoir, A Song for You, My Life with Whitney Houston. It's the first time that she is ever talking about her relationship with Whitney publicly. And what's surprising about this to me is their romantic relationship did not last very long, just a couple of years in the early 80s. And then Whitney said they needed to put a, an end to that because it wouldn't be good for Whitney's career. Despite that, Whitney and Robin remained best friends and colleagues. Robin worked for Whitney for decades. Honestly, the excerpt that I read was boring. There better be some juiciness in the book, okay? Speaking of juiciness, Janelle Evans, the fired teen mom star, has gotten a temporary restraining order against her soon-to-be ex-husband, David Eason, claiming that he was physically abusive towards her during their marriage and verbally as well. There were 11 different accounts during their union In happier news, Selena Gomez has refollowed Bella Hadid on Instagram. She had unfollowed her after Selena started dating The Weeknd. Now that she's not dating The Weeknd and neither is Bella Hadid, Selena has refollowed Bella. Bella, though, has not refollowed or, or followed Selena. On to some film news, Andy Serkis, remember him? He played Gollum in the Lord of the Rings movies. He is going to play the new Alfred Pennyworth in the Batman film. And also this was trending. James Dean, who is dead, is going to be starring in a new movie. The family of James Dean has signed off on his likeness being used and digitally created with CGI to put him in this Vietnam War drama. And frankly, I'm not actually that bothered by it. I think it's cool. 
whatevs, you know, another actor will play the part and then they'll just make it seem like it's James Dean. And another actor will voice it too. It's just so weird. It's just like a gimmick. They're just gonna make him look like James Dean. Okay. It got us talking about it. And finally, let us send positive vibes to Lady Gaga. She just had to cancel a performance in Vegas due to bronchitis and a sinus infection. <sighs> sending you the light, Steph, and sending all of the light to you as well, my fram. Mwah, mwah, I love you. Hit the like button below and leave a comment below, not just in the chat box. Leave a comment down below. Share this video. Make sure you're following my family, the Perez Hilton, Perez Hilton and Family channel. Sign up for my newsletter at PerezNewsletter.com. Listen to my podcast, the Perez Hilton Podcast, the Chris Booker on Apple Podcasts, or directly at PerezPodcast.com. Get a personalized video greeting from me on the Star Sona app or directly at StarSona.com slash Perez Hilton. Follow me on the website across social media. We're everywhere from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok. Share this video and have a bit. I love you.